George Elliott Clark says he never intended to cause such anguish to the family of Pamela George and the indigenous community in Regina, that he is truly sorry and that he must withdraw from delivering this lecture. Clark was going to speak about truth and reconciliation and the missing and murdered, but this controversy arose when it came to light that Clark has a long-standing friendship and working relationship with Stephen Comerfield, who beat an indigenous woman named Pamela George to death 25 years ago. Now, Comerfield was convicted of manslaughter, served his sentence, and is now living in Mexico publishing poetry under a new name. And Clark has worked with him for well over a decade. Clark says he was unaware of Comerfield's violent past, that he only learned of it in September. But then he did two things that people here say was quite harmful and hurtful. He didn't disclose that relationship. And then he said that he may or may not read Comerfield's poetry during his lecture. That triggered calls for the university to cancel the lecture and for people to boycott it. The University of Regina said it couldn't cancel or censor the message as a matter of academic principle. And now Clark has decided that he will withdraw and cancel his appearance. Appearance. He says that his purpose and intent with this lecture was to examine the role of poets in dealing with social issues, but he says interest has been lost in the current controversy. Now, in reaction, the University of Regina says that it has tried very hard to create a safe and welcoming space for Indigenous faculty and students, and at the same time, respecting academic freedom and a people's ability to express controversial ideas, but that balancing the two can be a challenge at times. There are still lingering hurt feelings and some bitterness. I interviewed Misty Longman, who is the head of the Indigenous Student Center at the campus, and this is what she had to say. My reaction is exhaustion and um, anger. I'm angry that we had to get to this point and it had to erupt and have so many hurt feelings for this to finally be canceled. The university says it will not find a replacement speaker for the lecture and in the coming days it will consult with indigenous groups, students and elders about finding a way forward. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.